Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here. Today we're looking at one of the most important concepts in the golf swing, squaring the club face. A square club face means that your ball is going to go to your target shot after shot. If I take it back square and bring it through square, I will hit my target. There we go, straight to my target. Straight shot will happen because wherever this points, the ball will start. I'm using the hack motion sensor today to show you how you can control the face using your wrists. When I go to the top of the backswing, I should have a flat wrist, meaning between my hand and forearm, this is as flat as I can get it. I don't want to see it get too bowed or too cupped. If I cup the wrist, the face opens. If I start bowing the wrist, the face starts to close. So a flat wrist means the face is square. As I go into impact with that wrist, I get the club face back to, you guessed it, square. So if I start at a dress with a square club face, I manage to get to the top with a flat lead wrist, I'm guaranteeing the ball will start straight. At least there's a 99% chance. My control of the face is so much greater. Now here's a representation of my wrist at a dress. I can open my club face by cupping the wrist. I can close my club face by bowing the wrist. I'm striving for a flat lead wrist. When I swing to the top of the backswing, cupped, bowed. Top of backswing, nice and flat. It says nearly zero degrees, nice. So cool because it's all in real time. Zero. Nice. Feeling my wrists staying flat at the top. So I go to the top, check right there, flat. Hack motion tells me that's the position I need to get into. I'll get into this position naturally if I do nothing with the hands. So that means no rotation of the hands. My wrist angle changes greatly when I do that. I just went from zero to 36 degrees, but for example, 36 degrees of cupping. I can do the opposite. I could turn it down too much, face shutting. So for me to hit straight, I don't want to see those types of extremes. At the top there, it registered a little bit too bowed. Now it's no surprise to me as to why I saw the ball start slightly to my left. So I need to figure out how to do more nothing with my hands. That was better at the top, getting 14 degrees, but I need to strive for zero. Straight. That one was much better. We're getting closer to zero. Hovering right around 10 degrees, it's saying too flexed, so too bowed. And that is something I actually fight with, is bowing my wrist at the top of the backswing. I get a little bit too much bowing. So I have to feel like my wrist is more cupped to get it zeroed. Oh, that was nice and straight. Strike felt a lot better too. Oh yeah. Okay, almost got that zeroed at the top. That was really valuable. You know, the feel, it's like having your own golf instructor here. This time it's relaying information that you wouldn't typically get except when you're in a golf lesson using a lot of bio feedback. Almost zero at the top. Six degrees bowed. It's enough to start a little bit left. And it feels like all the way to the top that I'm cupping my wrist, but I'm actually keeping the face square. And that one was the best one at the top and at impact. That was also the straightest shot. So I bet we can get this zeroed. You see how straight the ball's going though? Right around that four degrees of bowing again. Nice forward shaft lean at impact. I went to go get a lesson with Andy Plummer and we worked on feeling a little bit more of a cupped wrist at the top feeling so that I could have the face square because I was getting here. And I'm getting the same feelings I had in our lesson. You know, you could go back and get lesson after lesson after lesson or you could just train with one of these. So it feels like I'm opening the face, but it's staying square. I would never get this feedback on my own. That's where the hack motion is delivering for me. I'd have to go on video, I'd have to check my video, I'd have to check the angle every single time, or I can get instant feedback right here. It's telling me to do some more cupping feeling. So this is good. I'm seeing the ball start a little bit more to my right, as opposed to the pull. When I bow my wrist, I don't get that ball starting right. It'll start more left or it will start drawing too much. It's important to note here that while I say feel nothing, I'm feeling the face staying square. And that feel for me is cupping. Your feel may vary. So you would have to figure out what's it feel like to get flat here at the top. For me, it happens to be a little bit of a cupping feel. For you, it might be a bowing feel. That's what the hack motion's telling me, that it's more of a cupping feel. Oh, that was flawless. Wow, I would not get that feel, like I said, 
other than in a golf lesson. That's why I'm loving this sensor. You can get your own hack motion. Check it out in the link in the description and comments below. It'll teach you. I had a student who got one and he was surprised because he was practicing in his garage all winter and he said, you know what, this is fantastic because I never know where my club face is in, in space. I mean, I, I can think where it is, but I don't know for sure. And now he knows for sure he's hitting it a lot straighter. He's using, using the club face control part of the app, which is what I'm using right here. It's not just for experts, it's for any level golfer. You can see how straight that is. Usually when I film these, I just come out here. I don't have a script. I was expecting this to be more of like one of those things where it's like showing you how to do it. Now it's like, it's showing me how to show you how to do it. And it's teaching me, but it's also teaching you. It's really funny. We're always learning in golf. Oh, wow. The sound. You gotta be kidding. There it is again. Hack motion, you are something, something new. Don't just practice, but you know how you're practicing. You know you're doing well or not. Another straight one, or a little bit to the right. For me, that's where I want my shots to start. <laughs> it's another one. <laughs> Tom, you can say bye to your poles. Say hello to just straight shots. It's not a feeling I was expecting, but it's the feeling I needed. It's the feeling we got, but didn't deserve, because it saves the day. There we go again. Same one again. I feel like we're at the arcade and it's like, bonus, high score, double bonus, another high score. We're gonna stop until Tom hits a pull. Please don't pull this next one, Tom. You just told everybody you're not gonna pull it. Oh, we pulled it just an inch. No. Oh. All right, we gotta, get, we gotta get one back. Oh, we lost the high score bonus. Club face control with the hack motion sensor. You can get very precise. As you saw there, lots of those golf shots were just starting on the same line. And then whenever I had a few mishits, I would just go right back into looking at my sensor, program in the feeling I need to have to do nothing with the wrist throughout to the top of backswing, keeping it square. And then on the way through, I'm just keeping that same feeling to keep the face pointed at the target so it starts at my target. Hopefully you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.